To improve your work efficiency, you can customize hotkeys for you. Hi, I'm Jin. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. Do you use hotkeys a lot when you work on pad program? I do. It saves a ton of my time. When I make tutorial videos, I want to show you the menus that I'm using, right? Then sometimes I don't remember where the menu is because I use the hotkeys a lot. Pad system sets some of the hotkeys already, so if you know them, you can just use them. Go to patternstudio101.com. You can download pad hotkey list. You don't have to use all of them. You don't have to memorize all of them. Put the list beside your computer and try one or two of the menu or tools that you use often. It'll make your work speedy. And as I said in the beginning, PAD allows you to customize the shortcut for your specific needs. I'm going to show you how to set up your own hotkeys. Let's begin. Before we customize the hotkeys, let me show you a few shortcuts that I'm using very often. Go to the menu and view. When you open the file, you see all the patterns in plan view. So I don't really use control and one to see the plan view. But I use control and two very often because I want to see both plan view and piece view all the time when I work. When you want to see the grading view, control and three. If you press Ctrl and 3 again, it goes back to where you were. Go to menu again and under treatment. Set piece, piece info, item info, group, ungroup, align shapes. Those are all my favorite. I use these hotkeys all the time. Let's make some of your own hotkeys. Go to the menu, Options, and Preference. You can click this little triangle or make the box big enough so you can see all the tabs. Select Hotkeys. There's Menu and Tool. Under Menu, you have File, Edit, Let's see treatment. You can see the shortcuts here. Control E, D, I, etc. If you drop point, I use those two a lot, regular and mark. So I want to make hotkeys for those two. Select regular and press the keys that you want to use for this function. I'm going to press Ctrl and Shift and R. See? It's here. For Mark, I want to use Ctrl and Shift and M. Okay. Let's go to Notches. I don't really use V notches a lot, so I'll make a shortcut for those three. For point, if I want to use Ctrl and Shift and P, you have this warning. It's already in use by Pattern Assistant. If you want to keep this shortcut for the Pattern Assistant, you have to assign another key for point. But because I don't really use Pattern Assistant often, I'm going to remove it. So select Pattern Assistant and press the Delete key on your keyboard. And you can use it for point. For a single notch, Ctrl and Shift and S. For a double notch, Ctrl and Shift 
and D and click apply and OK. Let's see if it's working. I have a single knot here. Control and Shift and P. No knots anymore, right? It changed it to point. Control and Shift and M. It is now mark point. The point is really small, so I don't think you can see it clearly, but if you press the key, Control and Shift and R, it went back to the regular point. Control and Shift and D, you have a double knot. It's super convenient. Download Pad Hotkey Shortcut on my website, patternstudio101.com, and add your own hotkeys. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Please share this video if you know anyone who is learning pad system. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.